Tired of dealing with annoying flies, fruit flies, and gnats in your home? The Zevo Flying Insect Trap is your ultimate solution. Don't wait. Check out the link in the video description now to get your Zevo Flying Insect Trap on Amazon and enjoy a bug-free home today. A convicted drug dealer who drove missing raver Jay Slater to a remote Tenerife Airbnb just before he vanished last month is the mystery Johnny Vegas, Mail Online can reveal. Ayub Qasim, 31, was tracked down last week and said apprentice bricklayer J, 19, arrived alive and left alive at the apartment following an end of festival after party. But now TV sleuth Mark Williams Thomas has told Mail Online he has also interviewed Kasim and coaxed out more details from him to flesh out the mystery, which include him confirm the nickname Johnny Vegas is his. Jay has not been seen since June 17 when he left the Airbnb in the village of Masca, an hour from the heady party resort of Playa de las Americas in the south of Tenerife. He was driven away by Kasim and another man who have been deemed irrelevant by Spanish police investigating the disappearance and which has left Jay's family baffled. An extensive search of the mountainside near Masca in the Parque Rural Tino close to where his mobile phone last pinged using drones, dogs and helicopters has failed to find any trace of him. A major breakthrough came last week when Mail Online found Kasim at his flat in East London after a comprehensive investigation and now he has spoken again in depth and revealed new details. Former Met Police Officer Mr. Williams Thomas, who exposed Jimmy Seville, told Mail Online, In the last 24 hours I have spoken in detail with Ayub Qasim, who is also known as Johnny Vegas. He told me he was on the Veronica's strip in Playa de las Americas and said that Jay wanted to carry on partying and that he hadn't anywhere to stay, so he, Qasim, invited him back to his rental. In the car they played music all the way, they stopped once to get a can of fizzy drink and there was three of them in the car, Jay in the back and Kasim's friend in the front. Once at the property, his friend opened the door, and went to the left and went straight to sleep. Jay walked in, and Kasim walked in behind him, went upstairs, and got him a red blanket. Mr. Williams Thomas added, Kasim said yo bro, the sofa's for you there and he gave him a towel if he needed a shower. Jay also asked for a cigarette and Kasim gave him a camel cigarette and left it on the side. Jay then asked for a charger and then went into Kasim's friend room, while he was sleeping and got the charger. Mr. Williams Thomas said that Kasim told him he then went to sleep and woke up to the sound of the door buzzing. He added, Kasim opened the door and spoke to a woman and man and they told him to move his car, which he did and he said he could see Jay chatting to a woman. He said that after moving the car, he came back and saw Jay had his trainers on and he told Kasim that the woman had said he could get a bus every 10 minutes. Kasim said to him chill, mate, I'll drop you off later, when I wake up, but he said Jay said nah, I need some scran, I'm hungry. Jay said he had been told by the woman the bus to Los Cristianos was every 10 minutes and Kasim said there was no bus and added do what you like, before going to sleep. Mr. Williams Thomas added, Kasim says the next thing he remembers is getting a call from one of Jay's friends to say he is lying in a ditch somewhere and that he's been bitten by a cactus. Kasim would not tell Mr. Williams Thomas the identity of the second man who was with him and refused to discuss an alleged theft of a Rolex which might have contributed to Jay's disappearance. Last week the TV detective, who has probed a string of missing persons cases, also said Jay, from Ozeltwizzle, Lancashire, had been anxious and scared when he left the property. Kasim, who has spoken to Spanish police, was jailed in 2015 for nine years for being the ringleader of a London-based gang dealing heroin and crack cocaine in Cardiff. He is also closely connected to a legal cannabis cafe in Tenerife owned by his childhood pal, drill rapper Potter Paper. Initially, it was thought Johnny Vegas was the nickname of the second man who was at the Airbnb, but this has been ruled out by Mr. Williams Thomas' new interview. However, Kasim's story is still far from clear as Jay's apartment was just 10 minutes from Papageo's nightclub where the after party was being held. On Saturday, Jay's uncle Glenn Duncan, 41, searched the area for several hours with Jay's dad Warren, 58, and his brother.